the CHALL, your sporting journalist. Today is another match day. Doncaster Rovers hosting Swindon Town. Swindon Town unbeaten since the first day of the season. Uh, Doncaster Rovers have lost their last two, so realistically both teams do need a win. We're here at the Ecopass Stadium. Let's see how we do. Hopefully the lineups are good when we get into the stadium, and let's see how the teams perform today. Come on, Rovers, don't let me down today. <laughs> have just come out, I've got them right in front of me. So, Jonathan Mitchell in goal, a back four of Carl Noyle, uh, Roshan Williams, Bobby Faulkner, and yeah, James place. Maxwell from right yeah. to left. Uh, midfield three of Adam Clayton, Tommy Raw, and Lee Tomlin. We've got Kyle Hurst on the bench, so we've got Molyneux and Taylor on the wings, Miller up front, and joining Hurst on the bench is Jones, Biggins, Long, Waltman, Agard, and Joseph Olawu return to the matchday squad for the first time since his injury. Do I think they're positive changes? Yes, I do. Do I think they're the right changes? We'll see. I think Hurst dropping to the bench is particularly harsh, but for me personally, you've got to fit Taylor in somewhere. Uh, so we'll see what we do, what Taylor does now he's starting the match. So let's see how we do. Come on, Rovers. Don't let me down today. So we're around about 15 minutes to go until the kickoff. The atmosphere is really starting to build now. Rovers about to kick off. 15 minutes until the game starts. <laughs> The fans are all here at the Bucket Lords, a load of fans here today. Let's see how we do in the game. Hope there's some positive changes throughout the match as well. Come on, Rovers. Chance for Rovers down this side. And safely back to swimming, they push out for a throw. Real good opportunity there for Rovers to attack. First real opportunity. The boys in red. There, but it was cleared by the defender. Is this going on YouTube? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be famous for Swindon Town Corner. Let's see what we can do from it. They're going to swing this in long. 
Head on it. Clear it away. Lads get in front of him now. Forced to play it out. Swindon just passing it around now from that corner, just playing out from the corner, recycling the play. Johnny putting the pressure on a bit now. Again, like I said, it's just Swindon just seem to have all the chance in the last 15 minutes. Assad, well done. Still no nil. Oh, no. Good save there by Jonathan Mitchell. Yeah, what about Jonathan Mitchell? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> he promised to be in the vlog. Donnie, you're playing fit, I can't lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swindon have had all chances. Yeah, Swindon have had most of the chances, to be honest. I think yeah, yeah. we just started to grow in. We started growing in this game, but Swindon have had most of the chances. No, 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 let's see what happens. Good save by Mitchell. We've got three minutes out of time here in the first half. If I, the best way I can describe that first half is just simple as this. First, first shift. Exactly. First ten minutes, Donnelly were trying to we play... We've got in one! No, you knob it! There we go. There we go. Again, swing down. Again. It's like trying to mark a GCSE paper with a broken pencil. It's absolutely... Right! It was all first 10 minutes we were playing it about and then it became swindling for the rest of the half. Just playing it about, we kept looking up the chance, we kept losing the ball every time. Swindling trying to play it across the wings, trying to cut inside. We're allowing them the space, we're trying to press the open space a bit more. Overall it's been Swindon's half. Gotta bounce back in the second half. So a bit of a report of the first half since we just about to start the second half. For me it was the first 10 minutes for Doncaster's. After that it was Swindon's. Um, Overall, I think that Swindon just wants to pass the play, allowed to expand it on the wide front. It felt very, very narrow against us today. Had similar vibes of Barrow on Tuesday. Um, Doncaster just got allowed to go forward as possible as Swindon's pressure. Hopefully, this second half will um, put the pressure back on Swindon. Nil nil. Let's get something out of this. Straight away in the second half, appeals for a dog's throw is penalty. It was as plain to see as a pirate captain. Very pink and yellow feathers on his cap. So plain to see. 54 minutes in, it's another short save by Mitchell in the second half. Swindon town corner still nil nil. Again, we just really need to be pressuring up the field, making sure Swindon are on the back foot. But again, Swindon being allowed to play way too much in this second half at the beginning. Corner in. And it's got to be cleared now, and it is. Still nil nil. See what's happening. Give me this day, give me this day. Let's keep an eye for safe points. Point it around, point it around. Nice and simple through. We cross it in, we cross it in. Swindon, not good enough. Not good enough. Again, not good enough. And judging by that, judging by the first start, Swindon should have deserved it from the first start, to be honest. So we've just had a couple of substitutions over the last 10 minutes as well. Tommy Rowe taken off for Harrison Biggins, and then just now we've had John Taylor taken off for Carl Hurst. I'd have taken Luke Molyneux off personally, but Taylor coming off, wing for wing, light for light. I would have taken Molyneux off personally. Still 1-0 to Swindon. Dogs to Rovers, long throw here, try and make a chance out of this, because it's been all Swindon in the second half for me. Long ball in. And this is for the goalkeeper. Easy, easy, easy. Again, just, we've not been at our best today at all. Swindon have been all over us in that second half. We've had a chance of our own, but they're not coming off at all. Donnie trying to play it forward here. Nice, that's better. Again, again. As much 
useless putting Hansel and Gretel in a house made of chocolate. Absolutely useless. Useless. It's like trying to make someone with an IQ of one have a mathematics test. It's useless. Absolutely useless. Doncaster Rovers free kick. About 16 minutes left. I think it's Clayton or Molyneux on this. Let's see who scores it. I think, it, I think it's Molyneux. Molyneux! Donny throw, still 1-0. A few minutes to go into that at time in the second half. Again, it's like trying to fire a cannon, but we're firing it the wrong way round into our own chest. It's absolutely useless. We're trying to make stuff happen, but again, we just keep getting cut out by useless mistakes. Here we are again. Again, just piecing it round the back again. Not playing it forward enough. Again, it's just... Donny trying to play that a bit now. Now! Good enough. Three minutes out of time. Still 1 0 Swindon. Just just not good enough. Just just simply not good enough. Can't wait to record the fan cams today. That's going to be fun. Yeah, really fun. Not good enough. It's just simple, not good enough. Like I said, Swindon were the better team today. Absolutely the better team. And we've just got to learn from this and bounce back and move on. I don't know. It's just not good enough. It's just simple, not good enough. Oh, go on. Can we actually. I've actually had enough. I've actually had enough. I've had enough. We are like a broken ice cream machine. We do not click. We do not work. Pathetic. Please like, comment, subscribe. Socials are in the description. I'm the CHILL. I am the C H A L L. It's getting towards full time now. That is full time on this video. It's defeat once again.